Okay, for more on all of this, we're going to bring in uh, retired ICE director Tom Homan. He is also a Fox News contributor. All right, Tom, so this is about President Trump's request to use billions of Defense Department funds to build his border wall and a temporary block to build that wall by federal judge Haywood Gillum, who in part, he writes, in short, the position that when Congress uh, declines the executive's request to appropriate funds, the executive nonetheless may simply find a way to spend those funds without Congress does not square with fundamental separation of powers principles that date back to the earliest days of our republic. So, Tom, I want your reaction to the judge's decision. Well, once again, I'm not surprised. Another ruling from the Ninth Circuit that kind of puts a brakes on the president's agenda, security border. Look, I'm not an attorney, but I can tell you in the uh, last nine years when I was at ICE headquarters, we reprogrammed money from outside the agency eight years out of nine. So money's moved around the government all the time. So I think this will be overcome in a higher court. Until then, the, the border crisis, one thing that they didn't mention in your, in your prior uh, uh, sec segment was they said, well, the president knew uh, that he needed a wall. He said he wanted a wall, so this isn't a surprise. However, the numbers on the border right now are a surprise. It's unprecedented. The numbers are even beyond that of the numbers when he declared a national emergency. I think this fight is far from over. I think the president will find money in other ways because he's going to get this wall built. I, I just don't think the president's going to fail when it comes to you know securing money to get this wall. Right. I understand your point because it's definitely a setback, uh, but it doesn't stop the president from, from using funds from other sources to build the wall, that you, as you say. But, you know, Congress, there is a, you know, a system in place, and that's what some of the, pro the, the president's... Um, um, detractors, if you would, say that he needs to go through Congress and follow the uh, the, the traditional steps. Um, that but, said, but, I can, I, but, let me, but if I can add to that, though, I, I'm telling you, I mean, eight out of nine years when I ran ICE, we re, money was reappropriated from within DHS and out DHS to, to come, and that's something Congress didn't right. approve. They didn't force. Did it come from the Defense Department? No, but let's let's take this for you. That's a great question. He's got thousands of DOD personnel on the border costing the uh, DOD millions of dollars a day to have these, all these resources deployed, but he can't touch the money? That don't make sense to me. Again, I'm not a lawyer, but I think, well, I think this will be beat in a higher court. Um, okay. Uh, I would like you to you know, make the argument uh, to those skeptics of the legitimate need to build a border wall, Tom, because you have the experience there. Look, I, I've been enforcing immigration law for 34 years. What I'm seeing right now is unprecedented. These numbers have never been seen before. Have they arrested a million people a year? Yes, but there were 95% Mexicans that were returned within an hour. This population is coming across, and they're not leaving. Children are dying. 31% of women are being raped. There's an issue on the border. Criminal cartels are continuing to get rich. And I'll add this. Every place they have built a border barrier, every single place, the illegal immigration went down drug smuggling went down, it's proven 100% effective. I don't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat. There's no downside on securing our border. There's no downside on less drug smuggling. There's no downside on saving lives. There's no downside on less illegal immigration. And it's, it's an argument that I can't even believe we're, we're talking about. It makes common sense. Every congressman on that hill, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, should want to protect this country, protect our sovereignty, save lives, and not bankroll criminal organizations that have killed border patrol agents and have killed special agents. Enough's enough. We we, we got to take this fight on, and I, I think this president will win this fight in the long in the long run. All right. Uh, let's turn now to the Department of Homeland Security, where President Trump continues to clean house. As you all well know, now he is requesting the resignation or firing Francis Cisna. He's the head of the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, which is the agency responsible for legal immigration into the U.S., including asylum. Tom, what can you tell us in terms of what the president wants to change in this department? Well, I don't know. This one actually surprised me. I think Francis Cisna was the right guy at the right time on the right side of the issues. I worked with Francis for a year and a half, shoulder to shoulder on a lot of things. I think he had the president's agenda. He's working it, you know, protect America, especially protect American jobs. He did a lot to uh, scrutinize the H-1B visas, the high-tech visas to protect American workers and high-paying jobs. I think, he re I think he restored the rule of law in the CIS because if you go in that federal building and you're in the country illegally, you don't get some sort of benefit. They will make you see a judge, which hasn't been done in a very, very long time. I think he's passed a lot of regulations. I had to deal directly with national security. So this one, this one surprises me. And uh, 
Uh, again, I haven't been in the administration for 10 months, so I, again, I, this this one took me by surprise. Took you by surprise. Very interesting uh, because of you know the president saying he's trying to clean house to get things in order, and you're an expert, and you say that's not the right move in this case. Washington reports uh, post reporting that the former Virginia AG uh, Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli will be tapped by the president as the new head of USCIS. Of course, the Senate would have to confirm him. Do you think that Mr. Cuccinelli is the right person for the position? Look, I think I like Ken Cuccinelli. I think he's on the right side of the issues again. I think he believes in strong immigration enforcement. I think he believes in the rule of law. So, if, you know, if, if Mr. Cisna needs to go, I think Ken Cuccinelli can step in there and, and, and just keep that ball rolling that, you know, Mr. Cisna started. And I think, look, he's, he's, I've heard him speak many times. I like what he says. And I think he can help uh, what Francis did and reestablish the rule of law so people aren't gaming the system. That's the problem with the legal immigration system. They're gaming the system. And what Francis started to do, I think he started looking at the system right. and, and, you know, but and look and try to close those loopholes and try, and try to make the system legal. And he made those changes within the legal framework. So shocking, though, because the president is trying to fix immigration in one area, by your account, where he actually had somebody in place to stop those gaps. He got rid of the person. I don't know. Again, I can only tell you what I know of Francis when I worked him. Uh, a year ago, for a year and a half, I thought he was the right guy at the right time. So, again, I'm not, I don't know why the White House made this decision. I can't second guess that, but I can tell you, when I worked with Francis, I thought he was doing a great job. Retired ICE Director Tom Homan, always a pleasure to speak to you, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.